And welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today, Friday the 27th of January. We hope you had a great Australia day. And let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, overnight we saw US markets close higher again on upbeat earnings and some data that came out that did no harm to sentiment. We had some weekly jobs and some GDP data came out. As a result, the US indices are all testing important levels to the upside, 4,000 on the S&P 500, 12,000 on the NASDAQ looks as though it's in sight. Focus will continue to be on earnings. We do have a slightly quieter earnings day today before ramping up next week, but there is important data tonight. US futures are mildly negative in early Asian trading after IBM posted after hours results miss. Asian indices are following that positive US lead. The ASX is up around 0.3%. And European equity futures are pointing to a higher open. And the VIX is comfortably below that key 20 level. US dollar index continues to look weak. It breached eight month lows yesterday and really looks as though it's falling slightly again in early Asian trading today. But it is very choppy in FX markets this morning. Gold has moved higher again after retracing to 1930. And 1950 is the target on that in the short term. And copper is still around 428, uh, looking to breach that key level at 430. We saw all mildly higher after a couple of days of pullback, bouncing off a of support on the Brent crude CFD contract at around about $85. Bitcoin has pulled back. It's had a really stellar week again from its five month highs and has really stopped at the 200 EMA on the daily chart. Be interesting to see whether we get some end of week selling and what the gap will be like on Monday morning when markets reopen. Earnings season continues, of course. Uh, as I said, it ramps up next week. We had warmer than expected CPI data coming out of Japan this morning. Australian PPI was very soft, which was encouraging. Later on today, we've got US housing, consumer sentiment, and most importantly, the PCE data, which is an inflation measure that the Fed likes to look at. So we could see a bit of end of week movement. If that comes in softer than expected, we could see this market move higher continue. If it comes in hotter than expected, we could see a little late week sell off. A couple of charts have caught our eye. As we said, the FX markets are looking a little choppy, but the Aussie USD on the daily chart is still poised under this 71.30 level that we like a lot. If we look at an hourly chart, you can see it is having another crack at it in Asian trading this morning. Uh, so just keep an eye on this going forward. If we do get a close above this, we could see a rally to the upside. On the ASX, we're actually looking at staples at this stage. Coles are doing very well, but also Woolworths appear to have broken a key level here uh, around about $35 pushing up towards this 200 MA. So if we just put this on the candle chart, you can see we've already tested that 200 MA in trading today. So we're just gonna move that up to around about 35.25. That's what we see as the key level on this in the first instance. We could expect to move up around 2% in the medium term. We're thinking possibly $37 is a reasonable target, which will be a 5% increase on today's price. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.